This ranking is based on the play score, a standard rating that averages gamer reviews and critic reviews. Opening our list of top 10 3DS strategy is Fire Emblem Fates Special Edition. When it comes to the ultimate Fire Emblem Fates experience, this special edition should make you love this entry even more. Strapped into this one cartridge are all three routes called Birthright, Conquest, and Revelations. Extra features also include an art book and a console accessory. Known for being the best RPG on the 3DS, Fire Emblem Fates has exceeded everyone's expectations due to their deep tactical turn-based combat and intriguing story. Customize your character and let it loose in an RPG adventure that varies in each of the game's routes. Birthright was meant to be a good starting place for new players, while Conquest was intended for the veterans. Revelations, however, serves as the middle ground. Among the routes, only Revelations is available as downloadable content, while the others have their own physical release. Players who own one of it isn't required to buy the special edition, but for others who want the complete experience, then this should give you more insight to the game's bigger picture as each route focuses on a different perspective. It's a good opening to our list and it has a play score of 7.80. Number 9 is Dylan's Rolling Western, The Last Ranger. It's high noon yet again as Dylan the Cowboy Armadillo rolls around for another bout of action-packed grok smashing. A sequel to Van Poole's first Rolling Western title, The Last Ranger will look vastly familiar for players of the first game. It offers almost the same gameplay, looks, and controls as the original, but while it looks similar, it also comes with a range of new, albeit subtle, improvements to enhance the desert rolling experience. As the walking rock monsters head towards the villages, it's up to Dylan to save their precious cows from doom. While he's always ready to smash them with his speed and natural armor, you'll still need a bit of strategy to outwit the stubborn grocs. Collect resources during the day, arm your towers with the best weapons, and place them in optimized positions, all before the grocs arrival at dusk. While the game takes a dip into tedium, its improved visuals, larger world, and charming personality is easily enough to win over the strategy fans of the 3DS. It has a play score of 7.8. Number 8 is Pokemon Battle Troze. A sequel to the 2005 puzzle game from the Nintendo DS, battle and collect Pokemon in this fast-paced puzzle strategy game. At first, nobody was expecting this, and for a game that centers around turn-based elements, this was really a surprise. Pokemon Battle Troze or Pokemon Link Battle is a match-free puzzle game similar to the Japanese mobile game Puzzles and Dragons. To play the game, players must battle the Pokemon plastered on top of the grid. Using its elemental weakness, use the appropriate element to take it down. It's a rock-paper-scissors kind of style, but it uses Pokemon's iconic elements. Featuring over 700 Pokemon, including the ones from X and Y, there's over multiple ways to take down each of them. Match four or more to reap ultimate results, or simply summon Ditto to aid you in its strategic grid-based puzzle. It receives the play score 7.84. Number seven is Mercenary Saga 2. Inspired by the classic strategy RPGs, this second title to the Mercenary Saga does well enough to scratch your tactical itch. Packed with the quirks and cliches of the genre, this turn-based strategy has no intentions of reinventing the proverbial wheel. But for its price, it becomes a perfect substitute for fans looking to fill in the void left by the beloved Final Fantasy tactics. Playing as the Order of the Silver Eagle's captain, Claude, you must venture around the kingdom to find an antidote for the prince's poison. Lead your troops up north and help them fight against the men and beasts that stand in your way. With its lush pixel visuals and intuitive AI, the game nails its target aesthetics, giving us a feel of the classics while bringing something new to the table. While the story seems a bit thin, and the same could be said for its strategic mechanics, it succeeds in becoming a friendly introduction for strategy starters on the console. With addicting gameplay and a low, low price, this game is a steal. It has a play score of 7.89. Number 6 is Quell Reflect. The Nintendo eShop is also home to some super interesting games. FK Digital's Ice Puzzle takes you to an interesting zen-like experience. This keeps you on your toes as you lead every droplet of water to collect every bead of glass found in each level. You might think it's gonna be easy, but as you go along its 100 levels, it gets more and more complex. Using the 3DS stylus, navigate your way through each of these perilous levels with a mind as relaxed as the tide. Sure, it gets difficult in the long run, but the game's tranquil pacing doesn't really stress you out. In a few minutes, you'll be asking for more droplets to guide rather than throwing your 3DS out of frustration. For only $4 or less, enjoy a relaxing puzzle experience that requires no hair-pulling emotions and other stress-inducing activities. There is used to play score 7.95. Number 5 is Codename Steam. From the makers of Fire Emblem, Intelligent Systems brings new faces to the 3DS's turn-based strategy lineup. 
straying from the usual JRPG style, their newest IP opts for a more Western look. Of course, with their super-powered theme, the cel-shaded art style is totally appropriate. Join the agents of Steam as they power through alien-like forces in standard comic book fashion. With their oddball cast of characters, hilarity is an expected side effect. Set in a fictional steampunk London, navigate through their narrative and encounter familiar names like Abraham, Peter Pan, Tom Sawyer, and more, all intertwined by a great civil war. Cloaked in their wacky suits and voiced by notable pop icons, the game is an absolute joy to unravel. Memorable as their characters may be, the game has received mixed reviews for its high difficulties and convoluted plot. However, its rewarding mix of action, turn-based strategy, and utter silliness should be enough to balance the weights. With your goofy characters, defending the Earth is never a bore. It has a place score of 7.97. Number 4 is Pocket Card Jockey. Weird doesn't always equal good, but this unexpected hybrid of equine racing and solitaire seems to have hit all the right spots. But seeing as it's headed by the developers of the Pokemon series, it doesn't seem so surprising. Released just last year, the adorable card jockey has left quite a mark on its players thanks to its addicting strategic gameplay. Playing as an amateur jockey, your way up the leaderboard begins by mastering the art of solitaire. Using a simplified form of the popular card game, clear the cards on the screen and use the stockpile to get yourself out of corner. Your successes and failures determine your horse's attitude, letting you place horses in the best position for victory or having them run loose on the field. Level up, retire, breed, then do it all over again. It's an exciting cycle of enjoyment. Just one more level and next thing you know, you've been playing for hours on end. Simple, fun, and ultimately rewarding, it receives a play score of 8.25. Number 3 is Stella Glow. The fight between good and evil is blurred in this game filled with witches. Stella Glow introduces a unique gameplay element not commonly found in the JRPG scene, building relationships with your party members. As far as the story is concerned, an evil witch is cursing your entire village. The most important is how you engage your friends. Your relationships with them will decide how the game progresses and how it ends. It's as strategic as building impenetrable defenses and attacking the enemy front lines. Along with his friend, Lizette, he must unite the four elemental witches with his extraordinary powers. Fight monsters, explore the world, and acquaint yourself with the songs of the witches. It's the final game to come out from the creators of Luminous Arc, and it's a worthy send-off as the company files for bankruptcy. It receives a play score of 8.65. Number 2 is Shin Megami Tensei, Devil Survivor 2 Record Breaker. With the success of the Digital Devil in Persona series, the Megami Tensei universe from Atlas is continuously growing with more and more games. The Devil Survivor series is among its latest spin-offs. Just like your regular Megami Tensei game, follow a group of high school students in a post-apocalyptic Japan invaded by demons. They work together by summoning their very own demons using their cell phones to save the world of Record Breaker. The game doubles the entire content from the original Devil Survivor 2, such as a new female character, fully voiced acting, a harder difficulty setting, and a new scenario that takes place during the game's key moment. Make difficult choices, go on a demonic killing spree, and collect various demons throughout the game. It has a play score of 8.82. Here are the runners up before we reveal the number one. Tokitori 3D. Tickle your brain with the mind-bending puzzles of the world's cutest chicken. Jump around platforms and experience the definitive Tokitori game. It has a play score of 7.78. Dylan's Rolling Western. The feisty armadillo first entrance to the strategic cowboy adventure. Fight against the evil grocs and help those cows live another day. It has a play score of 7.73. Hey, Pikmin! A deviation from the traditional Pikmin game. Go on a platforming adventure with the color-coded Pikmins in this worthy spin-off. It has a play score of 7.72. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Shadow Wars. Tom Clancy in a turn-based strategy in the style of the classic XCOM series. Player roles in battle as gunners, snipers, and medics. It has a play score of 7.68. The Delusions of Von Sodendorf and His Square Mind. One of 3DS's quirkiest titles helped the titular Von Sodendorf find his way out of his large manor with the power of wit. Packed with interesting visuals and thought-provoking puzzles, it has a play score of 7.54. You may get these games right now by clicking the links below. And the best strategy game on the 3DS so far is SteamWorld Heist. In this turn-based strategy game, journey across the seven galaxies along with the nebula's greatest mechanical pirates. Enter a steampunk world populated by sentient automatons. As a band of do-gooding buccaneers, invade a collection of randomly generated ships filled with conniving villains and their clueless minions. Running off of their treasures won't be easy though. 
enter the side-scrolling battlefield and shoot it out in dynamic turn-based combat. Get into position, take aim, and let your bullets ricochet off walls and unsuspecting foes. Luck isn't a winner's weapon, so use your strategic skills to take them down, or upgrade your weapon to make life easier. Despite its simplicity, its ingenious concept has won the hearts of critics and gamers alike. It brings both style and substance to the SteamWorld series, and it receives a play score of 8.96.